So when you go through this and look at the rest of the world, early child development parenting centers, using that very generic language which we used in the first early years report, you offer it from conception to school entry if you can get the thing together, which is what the Cubans do. You provide support for the parents, hugely important to have them involved. Learn parenting by doing. Don't lecture parents, but have the parents actually take part in your program, which is what the Cubans do, and I think many other people are doing it. Pride, provide non-parental care, that is daycare, and link to children's services as needed, which the Cubans do a very good job on. We think the reason why autism may be so low in their culture is because they can spot it early and put in sort of programs that might change it. We don't know that's the answer or not. So that's a pretty dramatic example of one of the uh, regions in our world doing this, but the Scandinavians do essentially the same thing. But so the people at the Brookings Institution, Ludwig and, and the two, no, two other economists, have looked at all the data for the United States, start it early, do it often, involve the parents, and intervene effectively. You want effective programs. You don't want what you see in many other areas. So that's important thing. So then when we pull all the data we can get our hands on for enrollment in early child development programs beginning at birth, you'll see that Cuba, the gray bars, they have 99% of their population involved. Kind of unique, isn't it? Kind of dramatic. The Swedes, they kick in in the ages one to two, and then they climb all the way up. Finns begin a little bit slower. This was done for a report to Brazil last two weeks ago. Brazil kicks in too slowly, kicks in too late. And so a fine woman who's founded a foundation in Brazil had us come down to speak to them. And she's put $100 million into an early child development program to try to get Brazil up to the performance levels of countries like Cuba rather dramatic when you see it in terms of movement in the world. Now, in the early years report, they point out to the chaos, the multitude of programs in early child development that exist in our community. They call it chaos. Um, Australia has the same problem, at least South Australia, where I was visiting. And when I talk with all the groups in South Australia, they wanted a whole of government approach to the funding of all the activities in early child development. They wanted one coherent program, everybody educated to the same level. Interesting, isn't it, when you think about that? So the home visit programs, the center-based programs that they're developing, and you may wonder well, how they got there. Well, they got there because of some enlightenment, which I won't take you through, but we worked with them for over five years, and their government decided to announce that they would put early child development and parenting centers with their primary schools. The minute they did that, most of the groups in the communities wanted to figure out how they could become part of this integrated program. Now they got a lot of hur hurdles to jump over to put it in place, but basically they, they want to do is they want to take existing people who are good, good who may not have a lot of high level education and put in a postgraduate program for them to upgrade their skills so that everybody that go into their centers can be paid at, at least at the same rates as primary school teachers. That's a huge challenge for them. And for all of you in the audience, it would be a huge challenge for us if we go this way. But this has huge messages for your universities and whatnot who run early child development programs, A, to upgrade their skills. We're arguing that the South Australians should have 25% of the coursework in developmental neuroscience. That's related to development, not the other aspects of neuroscience. We think we'll get it. And they have to have a postgraduate program that does this. And the teaching format, if you know about it, from Red River College in Manitoba is brilliant on this. It's 40 hours multimedia teaching of using in their curriculum program for training the staff to work in this field. So getting order out of chaos is important. So when we did the original early years report, we looked at the sources of brain stimulation. And this chart was done that way. So the parents have a huge effect in the first two years. No doubt about it at all, whatever the caregiving structure is. Yes, you can move into group dynamics as they become older, and a different kind of structure can be used, but that's it. And uh, that chart basically says you should begin before birth, and there are the basic things that you do in it. 